Are you tired of the same old routines in the bedroom? Are you living constant reruns like a Groundhog Day of meal, movie, missionary? Are you yearning to break free from monotony and reignite the passion with your partner? Well, good, stick around because today we're going to be uncovering your five top sexual fantasies. I polled my IG audience to ask your best sexy daydreams and I'm going to share them right here today. From adventurous novelty to electrifying BDSM, these sexy fantasies are going to take you to new heights of pleasure and connection. So get ready to unleash your deepest desires and unlock a world of intimacy that is going to leave you craving more. I'm Lisa Welsh and I'm a sex educator who is absolutely committed to helping busy couples, including myself, to have more fun in the bedroom. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started. Coming in at number five with 17 votes is novelty and adventure. And this fantasy includes activities that maybe you haven't done before because our busy lives can often make our sex lives just feel routine. But injecting some excitement and new experiences into the bedroom or somewhere entirely different can really reignite the spark. Top tip, new locations is a really great one to bring this fantasy to life. Some people even crave having sex in public places, enjoying that thrill of potentially getting caught. This fantasy is all about adding an element of surprise and breaking free from the routine. So this is your opportunity to try new sexual activities that maybe you haven't before, maybe oral sex or some new positions. And one of the most common positions that people fantasize about doing is doggy style. Check out my video to learn more about how to make doggy style even hotter. You can also try role play, maybe bringing in celebrity crushes sensual games or even sexy toys to keep things fresh and engaging. Another way to really bring in the element of surprise is to keep each other on your toes by organizing secret surprise getaways so the other one doesn't know what to expect. Fantasy number four with 18 votes was ethical non-monogamy. And this makes a lot of sense because many couples are curious about exploring alternatives to monogamy as a way to keep their sexual connection really exciting. Of course, this is not for everybody and open and honest communication is essential. Ethical non-monogamy might include swinging, polyamory, bringing in a third or opening up the relationship completely. Each couple needs to decide what is right for them. What is important is to discuss your desires, expectations and boundaries and establish clear agreements together. And perhaps this is a fantasy that you just like to keep in your head because we don't have to bring all fantasies to life. That is the beauty of this. It's still something that you can explore together in the bedroom, maybe through role play or through telling erotic stories. And now before we get on to the top number three fantasy, I want to tell you about my two free sexy date plans that I've completely mapped out for busy couples like you to help you keep things spicy in the bedroom. Download, follow my steps and reignite the passion. You can take full credit. You can find it in the description and the comments below in bedwithlisa.com forward slash guide. I know you're gonna love this. Now the next fantasy actually came in joint second place with my audience and that is BDSM. Now that stands for bondage and discipline, dominance and submission, sadism, masochism. And it really incorporates any kind of sex that includes some kind of power or control or even like a bit of rough sex. Truly, it encompasses such a wide range of activities. For some, this fantasy is about completely surrendering control and being submissive. And for others, it's about being confident and dominant and taking charge. Under this umbrella, there may also be fantasies of inflicting pain or receiving pain. And many people also have forced sex fantasies of being ravished. In fact, consensual non-consent is one of the top fantasies that was found by just Justin Lee Miller in his research. So if you do have any of these kinds of fantasies, don't worry about it. This all falls into the realm of normal. It is common to have these kind of desires. And as I said, it doesn't mean that you have to bring them to life. But what can you do to act out on these fantasies and bring some extra spice into your bedroom? Safely exploring BDSM really can heighten the excitement and bring a lot of intensity to your sex life. Always start with open conversations and establish safe words. Consider attending workshops or seeking guidance from professionals who specialize in the area of BDSM that kind of gets you a little bit turned on. Try taking baby steps like experimenting with blindfolds or handcuffs or light bondage. 
safely experiment with sensory play by incorporating temperature changes and different textures into the bedroom. And of course, role playing with dominant and submissive roles, a boss and an employee or a teacher and student can really bring a new element of pleasure to your play. And as you can see, people shared specific fantasies with me, including wanting a dominant man to spank them, sweaty breath play, or simply domination. At joint number two with 20 votes was a multi-partner sex. This is a really common fantasy. And in fact, it was number one when Justin Lee Miller did his research to 4,000 American people. This fantasy involves exploring sexual encounters with more than two people. This might include threesomes, orgies, or group sex, even with strangers involved. Interestingly, for women, this fantasy typically focuses on themselves, so the other people involved don't really matter so much. But for men, they typically have fantasies where they're focusing on the other person, so the other person is the center of their fantasy, and often for women, they are the center of their fantasy. I can certainly attest to that for myself. So this can be about wanting to be the center of attention, about receiving, which is typically really hard for a lot of women to do in their everyday lives. You can bring this fantasy to life through erotic stories or including toys such as flashlights that can help you to imagine that there's another vulva in the room. But if you do want to go that next step and actually indulge in multi-partner sex, if that feels right for you both, then start with open, honest communication. Discuss your boundaries and ground rules together and then maybe join some online communities or even attend swinging parties to see how that feels. And as you can see, this fantasy was shared with me, which came from a woman who fantasizes about seeing her husband having sex with another woman. The reverse is also incredibly popular with hot wifing and cuckolding being very common fantasies too. Remember with all multi-partner activities, safety, consent, and emotional well-being are incredibly important. So take care of each other and have a lot of fun. But the top sexual fantasy polled from my audience was passion, intimacy, and romance with 49 votes. This fantasy is all about making love. It is like the romance novel sex. And in this kind of fantasy, you thrive on those acts of affection, those kisses and sensual cuddles, candlelit erotic adventures, romantic music, eye contact, sensual massage, and connecting on a deep emotional level. In romance fantasies, people often fantasize about having these kinds of connections with their own partners. And you can bring this to life by setting the scene, creating the space to connect romantically in a beautiful setting. Maybe book a hotel or go for a picnic in a beautiful park that is, you know, you have the wine and all of the beautiful things to hand and then slowly, intimately make love with lots of kissing and eye contact and caressing. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of my faves, can you tell? So those were the top five sexual fantasies as voted by you, but of course there are many others too. And those include fantasies like being somebody of a different gender or having sex with somebody who is of the same gender. This is one particular example of somebody who fantasizes about having sex with their cross-dressing friend. People also fantasize about using sex toys or playing with food being somebody else entirely or just being more confident. For example, this fantasy here is about somebody who just wishes that they could really be themselves. In his research, Justin Lee Miller found that 97% of respondents had sexual fantasies and quite regularly. So that's anything from like once a week to a few times a day. And sometimes they weren't fully mapped out fantasies. They were just like daydreams or little snippets. So if you're wondering, are you normal for having fantasies? Yes, you are. And if you're wondering, why don't I have fantasies? Then you probably do, but you're thinking that it should be something bigger than it actually is. Those daydreams count too. Exploring fantasies can be such a great way to enrich your sexual experience with your partner. So I encourage you to take a baby step into opening up about what turns you on. Invite your partner to tell you if they have any fantasies fantasies and make sure that you create a safe and supportive environment to let them speak without you being judgmental. And by creating that safe space, you can then also open up and share what your fantasies are. Maybe you could say, I watched a YouTube video today and they spoke about these kind of fantasies. What do you think about that? Open a conversation and invite discussion. 
Take small steps, be patient with each other, and enjoy the process of discovery about what brings you both pleasure and joy. Because imagine how hot sex could really be if you start giving yourself permission to access those things that really turn you on. Maybe you don't have low libido after all just saying. And of course, if any of your fantasies do cause you concern, then I recommend that you see a licensed sex therapist or certified sex coach who can help you to navigate that. Now, at this point of the video, you might be wondering where on earth can you start? And if positions was one of the things that came up for you as a fantasy, then I've got you covered. In this video, I shared five of the hottest sex positions that you may not have even heard of, let alone tried. So you can check it out right here. Thanks so much for being here with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.